don't play them often and when we have they've been extremely strong, physical, fast so that makes them really hard to play against. Uh, you know they have a lot of talent as well so when you mix that with those attributes it can be really really dangerous and if you're not organised as a team then you can get really exposed. So I expect it to be a similar game you know watching a little bit of South Africa they're quite man on man so they want that that physical duel and they want to be able to beat you physically in, in those sorts of areas so a, a challenge like this coming into a World Cup is just is priceless really. It's definitely deflating in a sense because you never want your teammates to be injured in any sense for them as individuals but also for us as a team you know you want everyone on the park you want everyone available and you know playing their best football fit and healthy but that's not always the case with football and it's just you know, another challenge for us and another chance for someone else to step into their shoes and prove why they should be starting and prove that they can play at the highest level and, and do a job when needed. So yeah, it's obviously not great for us as a team, but another chance for someone to, to do something amazing and um, show what they've got. I think for a while there we only sort of had Ellie popping her face into the squad and there wasn't really many other young players that were, were coming in and, and maintaining their spot. Ellie was sort of a fish out of water, she was the last one sort of out of that group for a long time so it's been really nice having a couple of girls come in and you know cement their place in the squad and, and play significant minutes and, and play really well. Charlie's one for me that's been really pleasing just seeing her growth from when she first came in to a massive role to fill when you're stepping into Ellie's shoes at right back and she's had to do that quickly and she's she's done it and she's looked really calm doing it and and you know had some great performances against like a team like Canada who have really pacey wingers and that they're, they're very dom dominant down the wings so I thought she held herself really well and showed that she's grown and matured as a player you know looking at, at Arsenal as a club they're pure football and um, they want to possess the ball and uh, you know when it when it works it's always beautiful to watch so that's something that I wanted to be part of and obviously going there I knew I'd have to prove myself and, and start from scratch and then getting injured for almost a whole season obviously doesn't help that. <laughs> so uh, it was definitely a challenge but one that has probably been one of my proudest things in football in, in terms of how hard it was and how you know enjoyable it was to come back into the team and some of the experiences I've had um, you know playing in the Champions League playing at the Emirates and alongside the players that I do every single day it's it's a challenge and it's hard work you know every every day training you have to be a hundred percent if you want to be playing if you want to start and I think it's like that for everyone because of the depth we have yeah 10 years it's quite it's quite a long time and a, a long journey filled with many many ups and downs but yeah I think if you had asked me back then whether I'd be where I am now I probably would have said absolutely not couldn't have seen it happening but literally looking at where I'm positioned now and my team as the vice captain here you know playing at Arsenal I feel like everything's worked out really well and I'm I'm in a good place and you know the journey's been been difficult filled with lots of injuries lots of drama with you know coaches and chops and changes and stuff like that but I think our team's in a good place and you know we've got a home world cup coming up so um, you know things are looking pretty good and if we get everyone healthy and firing and yeah that could just be one of the most amazing memories that you know I personally will have in my career and for our for our whole team as well so I think things are pretty good 10 years later.